He's mad. Keep on going back. Yep, you got him, buddy. Get him. Probably fish Aaron out all around us. We just can't see him. <laughs> well, then day we would be able to see him. Now we can't even see him. <laughs> What you think, Ramy? I think it's foggy, and I haven't had breakfast, and there's no fish on the boat yet. I was gonna wake up and do his breakfast, but I had snooze for about 30 minutes. But anyways, good morning, guys. It is day seven for us, and it's uh, faggy. It's probably gonna be a million boats, because it's really nice out, and their fish were killed yesterday. So. We're gonna give it another shot. We're happy we got one yesterday. Still uh, very much regret letting go that one that was borderline. But looking at how the feds measure their fish, it was 1 million percent of kill fish. It probably would end up being 75 or so. So that sucks for us, but. And that was the highlight of our day for the next 12 hours, getting out there and having a nice ocean. Again, just like the day before, the bite did not happen until just about dark. And of course, where we ended up uh, at the end of the day, where the whole fleet ended up, is the exact same spot. We were like, we started fishing. We hooked the fish like 100 yards from where we first put lines out. So we were right, but we were uh, 12 hours early, which is great. After running around the whole entire planet and burning a ton of fuel, we made our way back. And the whole fleet had made their way to that one little area uh, where the fish decided to push up onto the beach and start biting because nothing else was happening. And it got chaotic, like super chaotic. This sporty boat right here was the one that really kind of kicked it off on our little tiny block of the fleet. And this guy really drove on fish super well. It was cool to see the black the black tar getting pushed off that big old diesel. Uh, pretty badass the way that guy drove on fish. Uh, and that boat uh, comes into play later for us. But it was getting crazy. They Their fish ran offshore about 100 yards to our east, a sea hunt, hooked the fish, they weren't on the radio, so we didn't know where to go, what to do. And our bait ended up snagging their line. It was on their line for like 10 minutes. They had no idea. And then finally, we just started screaming at them. And we're like, hey, we... <laughs> and then they finally got on the radio, and they started panicking. He's like, dude, we've had it on your line for like 10 minutes. Anyways, we just like rode the hook up their line, and they gaffed it off, and nothing happened. They ended up getting their fish. At the same time this was happening, Dylan and Zach on the roster rocket... 100 yards to the other side of us, hooked a fish, and they're just like coming for us, both of them, pinning us down. So we spent the better part of like an hour and a half where the bite was happening, just running from people and getting messed up and turning. And there was another sporty boat. That's right. There was another sporty boat that literally its fish was just following us. So just worst case scenario. On top of that, we were kept on catching sharks and we ran out of bait. By this time, that big sporty boat that do south, uh, they had killed their fish. But they're kind enough to uh, give us live bait um, and saved our day. So shout out to, uh, I think, Mike or Mark on the Due West. Uh, big sporty boat charter out of there. Uh, shout out to him. Super kind of him. Really saved our day. If you want to do a, a sporty boat charter out of Moorhead, hit him up. He deserves it. Uh, we were completely given up hope. And then we got a bite, like, at sundown at sunday like dark dark and that is all that happened until about 12 hours later the day before the same thing happened the fish did not push up onto the beach and start biting until right before dark so we waited all day long we ended up uh picking the right spot the whole fleet was around us it was chaotic we spent an hour and a half of the bite which was like the meat of the bite getting chased by fish we got chased by three fish we had a guy that wasn't on the radio snag our line um, luckily nothing happened. We didn't lose tackle. He didn't lose his fish. Our buddies, Dylan and Zach were chasing us around for a little bit. We had this sporty boat chasing us around for a little, for a little bit, um, put on a pretty good show for us. But finally, like right at dark, but finally, like right at dark, we are the last boat to get a bite. This is a super stressful video. Uh, it's difficult fighting these giants in perfect conditions in, in the daytime. Having one at night, especially in Moorhead City, is not an easy or fun thing. It's, uh, we're fishing, like I said, we're fishing on the beach pretty much. Uh, 50 to 60 feet of water. Like, I think we hooked this fish three or four miles offshore. Bluefin tuna and tuna in general are a lot more comfortable sounding as deep as they can and doing their wide circles. When they can't do that, 
they get really squirrely and dart all over the place. And adding that with them not being able to see and us not being able to see, it sucks. Um, some of the film in, in this is not good, but that's not the point of the video to have beautiful, perfect, you know, Nat Geo grade film. It's kind of for you to guys to experience what this whole commercial or tuna fishing is really all about. It's not all sunshine and rainbows and highlights. I don't get to pick when the fish bite. Uh, I would have much rather done it in perfect daylight, but uh, that's not the point of this channel. The point of this channel is for you guys to kind of be immersed and feel what I feel and feel what commercial fishermen in general feel. Like we don't, uh, beggars can't be choosers, right? And uh, this is the epitome of that. We are just blessed to get a bite and lucky to get them to the boat. This was a super quick fight too. We fought this fish for almost 14 minutes which is by far uh, the shortest that we've caught a killfish. And thank goodness um, we were able to get him. He came to the boat when he was super, you'll see, it's so stressful. He was so lively when he came to the boat. It wasn't pretty, but I hope you guys enjoy this. Um, and thanks for watching. I also forgot to add one thing. Um, it is my birthday. So yes, I'm asking you for a shameless subscribe for a birthday present to me. Hope you guys had a great Christmas. Uh, and yeah, enjoy the video. All right. Ready? Yep. Mm. Go! Go back! Yeah, keep on going. Right. Yep. He's mad. Oh. Keep on going back. Breathe. Yeah, keep going. Are right, you good? I think this is it. That's a great white. Huh? That's a great white. What are we gonna do there? I don't think it's a shark. Oh, it's a bluefin tuna. <laughs> Going, stopping. You hear okay? Yeah. Coming to port just a little bit. I should get a better angle on it. Taken. Right. Yeah, I'm good. I I do not like these Tiagras anymore. <laughs> Stub handle. Yeah, what the, what's the point of a reel that has this much power if you put a three inch handle on it? Like what are we doing? Okay. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Head shakes. I'll tell you when. Okay. Okay, okay. Yeah. Scoping the line to port. Why well, come to this is happening in the opposite light? 
I wanted to get a bite in the dark. I didn't want to do it at night. <laughs> Coming to starboard. Going to starboard. Going to starboard. Tap me over. Okay. <laughs> he did not like that. They get so mad when you put pressure on them. Do it again. Yeah, there's no, what, there is no doubt. Yeah, it's a, it is a tuna. It's a tuna. Okay, John, he's coming straight under us. Nope, okay, here's a swivel. Going to port, there he is on the surface. He's a mean one. He isn't super big, but. Here he comes again. Get ready to get ready. Coming to port again. Just stay where you're at. Just keep ready. Oh my goodness, he's so squirrely. Golly. Shoot him, shoot him, shoot him, shoot him. Missed. He started freaking out. He doesn't know what's up or down. Oh yeah, I'm not a fan of it. Can't see his ass. Reverse. Reverse a little bit. That's good, that's good. He's still so score so green. Yeah. I can't, I'm not gonna be able to, am I gonna be able to turn him? I am. That's true. Yep. I'm gonna try to. Nope, you're not gonna be able to get it right here. Nope. Mm -hmm. I don't want to. I hate you. I know. Yep, you got him, buddy. Get him. Pre blood. <laughs> more fun at night. Yeah, it's tons of fun. He gets you, he gets you wet? <sighs> no, not really. You blocked it for me. You got me good. <laughs> Damn, I had a perfect shot for his ass. <laughs> Don't move the boat, Ramy. Don't move the boat. <sighs> he actually huh? that kind of helped us out. He turned him the opposite way. Don't get tail wrapped, buddy. Or I guess you could. It won't affect me. Oh god, he's still coming. You're gonna be able to see him fine. Oh, you're fine. Aim low, Bubba. Yeah, that's what happened right there. I saw a big head. You hit high. Ooh, ah. hit him. You did. <laughs> He's coming back under. Get ready with the tail rope here in a minute, Randy. And again. This is it. This is it. He's coming pop right up. Straight out. Got him. All right. He's still green. We need that gaff. Where is he? Right, watch out, watch out. Nope, nope, nope. Watch that, watch that. 
Watch yourself, watch yourself. Yeah. All right. We're fine. We're fine. Give me that other gaff. I need that Sea Works gaff. Yeah, go that other gaff. Green gaff. Where's the gaff? Right here. Okay. Give me that Sea Works gaff. That thing, other thing sucks. Still super green. That's all right. He's about to die. Pop up. Come back around. Come back around. There we go. We're good. Not great, but he's, I got his head out of the water. I need another gaff. Right on you. It was right here. But I want to gaff him again. Please gaff him again. I got to gaff his tail. Get a tail wrap on right here, You got him now. I sent you. You got him? Yeah. I'm gonna let this gap out of him. I sent you. Let's get a swim in him. Okay. Where's my sh my swimmer? David Schwimmer right here. Nope. Uh swim hook. Where's my swim hook? It's in there, it's back here, I already got it out. Oh, can I see it? Mm -hmm. Not that Rope. Yeah. Tie it off, Rami. Hold that. I'm gonna get Hold on. Yeah, hold on. You got to tie it off? Yeah. Yeah, boys. Talk about a fourth quarter. Talk about a fourth quarter. Oh my goodness. When it's your turn, boys, it's your turn. Here, just do right here. Yep. When it's your turn, out the way. it is in fact your turn. All right, let's swim them. Oh, give me a hug, old man. Yes, sir. Oh boy. Perfect size fish or night time. Damn. Yes. Yes, yeah, sir. Too, yes, sir. Like that, like that. <laughs> yes, sir. Two of them. <laughs> okay. Oh my goodness. With the full moon. Full moon, baby. Come on with it. Full moon. Good old December full moon. Oh yeah, son. He's definitely he's probably Yeah, he's cool. Yeah. Wow. I'm so happy. That like that ain't doing nothing. I can't believe it. Oh my goodness. When it's your turn, it's your turn. Took us 12 hours to get a bite. Took him 12 minutes to get it in. In the freaking dark. I was really looking for one to get in the dark. I wanted to do like morning dark, not night dark, but we at least got to see a nice sunset, then we were able to chase. Yeah! yeah! We got it! Woo! Yes, sir, we got number two. Oh boy. We are three for three. So this is gonna be our second one sold. It was a day. So I'll explain it to you guys. We were, uh, it sucked this morning. The video, the last video I did, uh, there was an extremely good flurry of fish that happened right in the morning. And uh, everyone was hooking up, including us. Um, so today was the nicest day of the season so far. And it was right after the meat of the fish moved in. So there was, uh, before light, 50 boats. We counted the radar over 50 boats uh, in that same area we started in. There was one fish hooked and caught in this light this morning and uh that was it for the entire fleet there no one else got bit there may have been one other bite quote unquote what it may could have been sharks but there's there's one fish killed all day no one saw anything no one caught anything and then uh, about three o'clock this little area to the west uh had a couple bites the whole fleet moved over here in the evening the entire fleet was getting hooked up and we were just in the right spot we were in the wrong spot we had a sport fisher inshore of us hook up and then we had a center console a sea hunter hook up next to us 
and if the fish ripped so fast and so hard it went under our line and our hook actually caught his line thankfully uh it pulled the bait off and they we were able to slide the hook up their main line de-hook it by the time that happened zach and daniel on the roster rocket they were just in the inshore west the uh, inshore to the west they hooked up their fish came right across our stern right next to that sea hunt they almost had like a little collision there but luckily both their fish went their separate ways they both got their fish zach's fish was actually a jumbo so shout out the roster rocket guys they killed a big one um we ran out of bait that original sport fisher they got a jumbo they fought it for a really long time they uh, were nice enough to, they were nice enough to give us baits we were down to one bait and it looked terrible it was a big blue fish they gave us some um they gave us some baits so if you know anybody on the down south what's the name of the boat down south deep south um, yeah. hard to handle <laughs> south, uh, do south. Do south the do south if you know anybody on the do south knows especially about mike uh shout out to you you made our day we owe you one um yeah so we were in the right spot in the wrong spot and like oh yeah i forgot when we're on the way to get the bait from them we had a little private tier boat chase us literally the whole way there we got baits we went back in shore and then uh they literally start chasing us back like oh my god and uh literally right when i got to about pitch black Johnny literally said, okay, we got nine minutes left. We're going to stop at 530. Okay, we got nine minutes left. Uh, and not ten seconds later, the real one hit. Really? That's the best tuna mark. Holy totally. uh, you still on the water? Yeah. Wow. wow. Hold on one second. We need to do something about that. Anybody still fishing? Um, I've, I just marked a complete absolute herd. Of 100% tuna. Fish and bait. 152581. You know what I mean? Just non elbow mark. Still going. Golly. Yeah. Well, there's the meat inshore. Maybe we're just fishing too far offshore. Oh. But, anyways, but yeah, sorry for the another crappy video. Both of these, we, we fought these fish for such a short amount of time that I haven't been off a rod, so I haven't gotten any other angles. Um, man, that's good to know. Maybe we're just fishing too far offshore. Maybe all the fish are inshore. Maybe, but all right, boys, we're going to do the old cut deal. I'm not even going to film this because, uh, I mean, you're not going to be able to see it. I don't have a light on my GoPro, but if you want to see how the whole process is done of us, we're swimming the fish right now. We were actually weren't able to do that to the last one because we, uh, killed it on the dart shot. This one's lively, very, very green. And, uh, that's what happens when you fight a fish for 12 minutes. They're nice and lively. So he's swimming right now, getting all that lactic acid out of his system from fighting. And uh, we're about to take him to the dock. We're about to bleed him. Swim him some more, load him up, take him to the dock. We still marking? Yeah. Golly. Hey, are you still fishing? That is them. Hey, wow. I, I'm, I'm marking absolute herds of fish back up and short of everybody. On a, I'm on a 151 oh, and a 581. I'm marking bait and fish on it. 151, 581. I'll send you a picture of what I'm seeing right now. Five, one, five, well, yeah, we're going to bleed them and load them and head to the house. We got a long night ahead of us. Uh, we were going to go out to dinner. That's not happening anymore. Um, so Becky, bless her heart, about to go get some Bojangles for us. And uh, we got to pull this bed out, fuel it up. So it's going to be a long night, but I do not care. We got to fish against all the odds. All the odds. So I'm home, baby. In the next video, what you're going to see is something, if you are a fan of Wicked Tuna, you probably will like a lot. The Roster Rocket Boys, like I said, killed a gigantic one. And um, it's way more interesting than the small one that we caught. They caught the biggest one that they've ever caught. Could not fit into the boat. They're nice enough to let me film that whole process. I talked to Zach and Dylan um, and little mini dog. And it's a really interesting video. Those, those videos at the dock are so cool and I learned so much. Uh, so if you don't want to miss that, you need to subscribe. Also, it's my birthday. I'm about to go out and uh, ha have a nice cold beer with my friends before I go fishing tomorrow. I'm going to go catch some muttons and gags tomorrow. Fingers crossed. So if you want to see that, 
uh, subscribe. But really, I hope you guys had a really good Christmas and have a happy new year. And I hope to see you next time. And I love y'all. And I'll see you then.